Hello Crafty Monkeys and welcome to this month which is all about pictorial blocks. I've been busy designing a block that is a fish. It's the Royal Angelfish and here he is. It's a really simple block, it's just made up of rectangles and squares and there's a really clever way to create these triangles. And the fabric I've used is Dashwood Twist for the ocean and the fish itself is made from fabric called oak shot fabrics which is a beautiful iridescent shot cotton. I really love it, I think it works perfectly for these fish and I think you could make a whole quilt made up of fish and have an ocean quilt. Okay so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make the C for our fish block. So you're going to need a section for below the fish and a section for above the fish. Now this section is 10 and a half inches long by four and a half inches and you'll need two of those. So you're going to cut those two out and then we need to add our strips on the side to make our block up to the 12 inches finished that we want. So you're going to cut two strips and these are going to be 12 and a half inches by one and a half inches. So when you've done that, set them aside and we're going to be working on the fish next. So we're going to start with the stripes. Now we are actually going to make these a little bit taller than we need and then we're going to trim them down so then we'll know that they're nice and accurate. So you're going to alternate um, light blue, yellow, light blue, yellow. Now these strips are five inches by one and a half and we're just doing it a little bit bigger just in case if we don't quite sew them um, perfectly we can trim them up and we'll know that we're going to trim them up to four and a half inches and we'll know that they are exact. So I'm going to go ahead now and stitch those together. Okay so I've sewn my strips together and when I pressed them I made sure that I pressed my seams to the dark side because we don't want to see blue seams coming through that yellow there. So do you remember I said we made it a little bit too um, big and we're going to trim it down to size. So this needs to be four and a half inches um, long. So I'm just going to measure that up like so. Okay, so that's my fish strips ready to go. So I can set those aside. And now we're going to be cutting out our pieces for our tail and the body and the head. And we're gonna be using the same technique for all of these pieces, um, which is to create a triangle. So these pieces are four and a half inches um, this way by two and a half. So they're all the same. And like I say, we're gonna be using the same technique for each one. So one for the tail, one for the body, one for the head. And then the final thing we need to do is we need to have some C um, to create the tail and to create the body. So we actually need six of these squares. These are two and a half inch squares and we need six of them. And what we're going to do is just cut them out and then draw a line in pencil from one corner to the other on the reverse of the fabric on all six of them as you can see. And then we're going to do this section um, production line style. So we're going to take our tail and then we're going to put our um, square on the left side like that. Can you see the line is running across this way? And we're actually going to be stitching on that line. So I'm going to put some pins in either side of the line. So we're stitching on the line. And I'm going to do that um, for all three of them. So I'm going to pin them on and then I'm going to stitch down the line and then I'll show you what's next. So now I've sewed on all my squares onto my rectangles, we need to trim off this excess that we don't need. So I've done this one already, but all you do is put your ruler on the stitch line at the quarter of an inch position. You're going to stitch across there and then this bit will come away. And then you're going to open out 
and press and you will see that it's formed that first half of the triangle. So that's um, that bit and we need to do the other side. So exactly the same, so you've ironed it out, pop this one on the other side, this time going in this direction to the bottom right hand corner, pop some pins in, And then you're going to be stitching down that line, trimming off the seam allowance, opening out to create the triangle. So you're going to do that for each of these three pieces. So now I've got my three triangles. I did the other side in exactly the same way, stitching down the line and then trimming off the excess, opening out and pressing. And the next bit is exciting because we're going to start putting the fish together. So. Let's lay him out, we've got the tail. And then the purpley one is the fish body. And they're facing each other like that. And then we're going to take our stripes that we made earlier and make sure that you have the yellow section on the end because then we're going to add in the blue head like that. And we didn't want two blues next to each other. So all I'm going to do is stitch these two together these two together and then stitch them to complete the fish. And here's our fish block finished. I think he looks really sweet. I'm really pleased with him. So all we need now is some sea so that he can swim in the ocean. And you remember we already cut our pieces. So we're going to stitch on one below and one above. Oh, mine fell on the floor, got it back. So C above and then we're going to sew on our left strip and the right strip and that will complete our block. And here he is, our royal angel fish. All he needs now is an eye. So what I've done is I'm just taking a small black button and I'm going to sew it on like that to finish.